So you want to jump right into pen spinning, but your pen mod from penstock.net will come only in a couple of weeks. What do you spin during this time? How to start pen spinning right here and right now? Of course with victory pen mod. One of them. I'd say the most famous beginner pen spinning mod, which has some advantages over other beginner pen mods, and the first and the main one is its accessibility. It is accessible. Unlike other pen mods, you don't need to wait for it, because spare parts you can find in the nearest stationery shop, you can make it right today. And its second advantage – it is easy to make especially with today's video tutorial. Unlike other beginner self-mods, which they do according to God knows what. Hello, you're in Penstock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will show you how to do big trip pen mod, how much it will cost you, what I think about it, and uh, that's pretty much it. I want to say from the very beginning that big tree was not my first pen mod, but it is admitted. A lot of bit spinners started their journey with it. It is a good way to spin while you're waiting for your pen mod from penstock.net and guys, come on. Your hobby requires you to spend something on that. And cost of a decent pen spinning mod is comparable to a dinner in McDonald's. And unlike this dinner, you will have <laughs> some cool skill and a lot of fun out of learning it. So don't do crap out of sticks and shit and go and get a pen mod and start to spin. But before they make this. To make it, you will need just the following spare parts. First of all, two big three ball point pens, big round stick, two pilot BPGP10RFR or FL, very common pens, you can find them in many different stationery shops, pilot G3 pens or any another pen with metal tips. Pay attention at this matter, don't use plastic tips because they are useless in pen modding, they don't add momentum, don't add weight, they are good for nothing. Besides, we will need some tools, an awl, pliers and scissors, you can use smaller ones. So first of all, take two ballpoint pens, big round sticks, put off caps and ink tubes outside of these pens using the pliers. After that put out one barrel and from another you need to put pliers inside this plug where the tube with the ink was and put it out. We will need this plug and wouldn't need this barrel. Now take the barrel with the both plugs in it and take all. We will need to pierce a hole in this plug, the ones without this hole for ink tube. But be careful while doing that, because I got terribly injured while doing it last time I tried. Oh! So take your awl and begin to pierce with these screwing motions. And as you pierced it pretty much enough, you can put an awl at a little bit angle and try to pull this plug out of this barrel. It wouldn't come out totally and for that, to help yourself, you can take pliers, squeeze it and take it out. Also, you can do it without piercing the plug as well. Now we don't need this plug, we don't need this extra barrel, put them away and we'll, we are left only with these parts. Take scissors and cut ink tubes a little bit above the line where ink paste ends. If you cut them lower where ink is, you will end up dirty with the ink all over the place, on your hands, on your table, everywhere. So be aware of that. Take ink tube and watch it at the light, you will see the line where ink is ended. Approximately here. And just cut the ink tube. One, two. If you don't do that, your ink tubes will not fit the barrel, so make sure to do that. After that, place one tube inside this plug for ink tube, another one you will need to place in the barrel, and put both inks inside the barrel. Now take the caps and put them on your pen mod, and as you can see, these clips look ugly, and we will need to get rid of them. For that, take scissors again and just Cut them out. Now they look fine. And what we will need to do now, just take these pilot pens and take their grips out. Using pilot pens is not required, you can use some other pens with other grips, but these pilot grips fit this pen mode perfectly. So put them on your caps as far as you can. 
Anyway, they will look like this, like... Uh, I don't know, it reminds me of Kandum. Now we're almost done, we'll take the Pilot G3 pen mods and take out their tips. Put tips inside the grips, like this. And now we can place the caps in, on the body. If you place them with clips, with these tails left of clips in one line, it will look a little bit prettier. But all in all, our pen mod is ready to be spinned and you're ready to learn your first tricks. Okay, let's check Victor's weight and length. I don't know its weight either, let's find it out together. But I can feel that it is pretty light, yeah. Oh my god, it is only 12.4 grams. Guys, for a beginner pen mod it is too light. Its length is about 23 centimeters, more than 23 centimeters long. It is a little bit above average length of pen mod, but it is quite okay. Now some of my thoughts about victory pen mod, what I think about it. And is it worth it? If you're just at the very, very beginning of your pen spinning journey, if you're just learning some very basic tricks, such as Sonic, Charge, Thumb Around, Finger Pass, tutorials for all of these tricks I have on my channel, check them out, that's a good way to start pen spinning. So if you're learning just them, this pen mod will be fine for you. But that's definitely not what I would recommend for a beginner to take. And that's definitely not that I would spin by myself or any another pen spinner with the self-respect. As you can see, the barrel is awful. It actually requires ink tube inside it. It's one of the... I'd say it is the only one beginner pen mod which requires ink tube inside. Because without that, this barrel will weigh nothing and it will add crazy momentum to a pen mod. Metal tips give it momentum and it is okay to, to learn the basic tricks, but only basic, because for something more advanced you will notice that this momentum is unpredictable and this pen mod is hard to control. All in all, victory pen mod is not that fun to spin and to learn with. It looks, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a crap, but each time a pen spinner with a self-respect We'll look at these grips. The best he can do is indulgently smile. Anyway, victory is your ticket to pen spinning. It is a good choice. It is the only choice for most of beginners, because waiting for pen mods from penstock.net takes a couple of weeks and you can't just go inside a shop and buy good pen mods in there. Also, it is pretty costly for its quality, because for example, factory-made pen mod Flower V1 or V2 costs approximately similar to it, but is way better. Of course. As for me, I didn't start pen spinning with Victory pen mod. I made another beginner pen mod, which is famous in Russia. I don't know if you guys have such barrels as we do here. But this pen mod is internationally accepted, because as I said before, you can find the spare pass for it everywhere. I will leave the link to playlist with all the pen spinning tricks from the very beginning to the very, not to the very end, the pen spinning is endless, in the description under this video. Go and check them out. Also, if you want to be able to do this awesome tricks and to have this awesome skill. Join our subreddit, our pen spin, where you can find others and watch their cool combos, linkages. Anyway, you will find your community in there and if you want to chat with someone, you go and chat in our Discord server. There you will always find someone to speak with. It is the most crowded pen spinning server out there. I wish you good luck with all that. May this tell be with you. Bye.